Andy, well done. It looked like a really, really hard-fought victory. Yeah, it was tough. Um, you know, it's, we won five-one, which is obviously the main aim, and um, you know, puts us in the driving seat for next week, and it's what we came to do. But yeah, the performance could have been better, of course, in, in certain areas. We could have done better, and we played into their hands a wee bit with our counter attacks and things like that. But you know, we had to be a bit better controlling the ball in the first half, and then start the second half we got off to you know the kind of worst possible start but we managed to regroup again and like I said 5-1 is a positive result and um, if you gave us it at the start of the game then we definitely would have took it. As you mentioned the first half Sparta caused quite a lot of problems had a lot of chances did it take a little bit of time maybe to sort of adapt to the way that they were playing and sort of impose yourself on them a little bit more? Yeah look they take a lot of risks in terms of what they want it's counter attacks so they kind of leave three players up but um, you know we have to be better on the ball to kind of punish that because it means that then you know they've only got you know seven behind the ball, so we had to be a wee bit better. We gave away the ball a couple of you know a couple of sloppy paces, and then obviously we had to sprint back, and that was a problem. I think a couple of chances were offside and things like that. So you know, and then Creve had to make a couple of good saves, but at the end of the day we kept him out in the first half, and then yeah, second half you know Connor comes on and you know obviously doesn't get off to a great start, but then like you said, we regrouped, we got back together again, and um, yeah, we got a result which is like I said puts us you know one foot in the next round, which which is the main aim in this competition. You mentioned there that Kevin Gallagher made three or four world-class saves. He's been excellent since since Allison has been injured. How impressed have you been with his form? Yeah, look, he's a different class keeper. He's, he's, you know, so good with his feet, with his with his hands, and he makes important saves. And now, you know, unfortunately for you know the circumstances with Allison, obviously now um, Kevin gets a run in the team, which is good for him. And you know, you can see the confidence he's playing with. You can see that. You know, every shot he believes that he can save, and, and that's what we need because we know how good Ali is. You know, Ali's you know the best in the world, and um, you know now Queeve's shown that that he can play at this level and play in the Premier League and things like that, and you know that can only help us. So he's been un- unbelievable since he's came in, and you know long may that continue for for however long Ali's going to be out for. Another player in good form, Darwin Nunez. Both of his goals, my goodness, they were good hits, weren't they? Yeah, look. Um, you know, obviously we lost him for a couple of weeks, but you know he's this season he's he's been unbelievable. You know, no defender likes coming up against him. He can you know he can run in behind, he can hold the ball up, and um, you know now he's try, starting to add that composure to finishes and things like that. So he's had an unbelievable season. We, you know he needs to keep going. He needs to keep scoring goals for us because you know that's the only way we're going to be successful this season. But you know today I thought he was he, he was excellent, and then um, you know didn't play too long and things and came through fine with his hamstring, which is an important thing. And um, you know hopefully that's him good to go for the rest of the season. Well done tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Andy. There you go. Hello. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. It's okay. Andy, very good job. Uh, what's your feeling after uh, this uh, beautiful victory? Yeah, obviously it's a it's a great result for us. Uh, five goals away from home is never easy in you know the Europa League. Anywhere in Europe you come, you know it's always difficult to score any kind of goals, and um, you know luckily it puts us in the driving seat for for next week you know we have to put the tie to bed but you know it gives us one foot into the quarterfinals and and we want to go far in this competition and you know we need to we need to do that by by scoring goals and you know luckily we've done that tonight seven victories in the row uh, we have the feeling that it's impossible to to beat you in the moment um you know we go into every game believing that we can win but you know we have to work hard for our wins and we definitely had to work hard for that today um you know five one people will just look at the score and think okay easy night but if it was far from that you know, Spark Pride caused us a lot of problems and, um, you know, luckily we managed to solve them. And, um, yeah, we go in every game confident and, and we have to keep doing that because we're in a, a good run of form. And, um, you know, long may that continue. Good news also with the return of the injuries. You, for example, Mohamed Salah today. So it's good uh, to for the game against Man City Sunday. Yeah, Mo, Mo obviously getting some minutes. Dom coming on, Darwin playing, um, you know, obviously Ibu going off, which hopefully isn't anything and um, yeah you know starting to get players slowly but surely back and and that can only help us to the end of the season you know we were we were threadbare we were down to the bare bones and you know the more quality that we can add back to the squad then the more it will help us fighting on all fronts and last question for us uh, French journalist is it okay for uh, Ibrahim Konate? what's kind of injury not not sure not sure it's probably too early to to tell he seems seems okay in there but obviously he's had to come off so Fingers crossed that it'll be okay. And, um, yeah, so I, I can't I can't really say anything more than that. Thanks a lot. Thank you. UEFA, three questions, just two questions. Okay. This is Andre. I'm going to talk to Andy Robertson from Liverpool, today's captain. 
So just uh, you showed a lot of quality today. But how do you feel after this game? Yeah, um, you know, obviously delighted with the result. Uh, performance could have probably been better. I know it's funny saying that when you win five one, but um, you know, performance in certain areas probably could have been better. But you can't ask for much more coming away in Europe and uh, scoring five goals. Obviously, unfortunate to concede one, but um, you know, it puts us in the driving seat, and we want to go far in this competition, and we've made one step of that today. Your coach said it's going to be a tough game. You seem to be focused, prepared for the. You did the homework well. Sparta had chances, but you conceded only one. Yeah, look, we, we do our homework on every team and we show them the utmost respect. And Sparta Prague causes a lot of problems, you know. And luckily, we managed to solve them in one way or another, whether it was defending, whether it was the goalkeeper or, or whatever. Um, you know, we managed to sort it and, like you said, to keep them down to one goal at home. And then we score five. It's, um, you know, you can't ask for much better. And now we go back to Anfield next Thursday and, you know, hopefully put the tie to bed. There are young players coming into the lineup. How, how, do, how do you like playing with them and how, what do you think about their performance? Yeah, look, you, it's enjoyable because you see how free they are. You know, you try and help them as much as you can. And with the injuries we've got and things like that, we need to rely on the young players as well. And they've all, they've all really stepped up. So, you know, hopefully they keep flourishing, keep getting better and better. Um, the more experience they get in these types of games will help them. And, um, and yeah, you know, they'll have big futures ahead of them and they, they just need to keep on the track that they're on. Thank you very much. Good luck. Thank you.